was the age when you got into a squash? Uh, I started at the age of seven. And how long has it been since? How was the journey since? So uh, it's been it's been fun. It's been a struggle. It's been ups and downs. So a lot of experiences, uh, all the way through. Uh, learned a lot through losing more than winning. Uh, and yeah, I've just enjoyed uh, everything. I have, I have no regrets till now. Uh, and, uh, and I always try to get better as much as I can. Favorite sports person? I mean, of course, being in India, it's, it's very easy to say Sachin Tendulkar as a sports personality. Uh, but when it comes to squash, I would say uh, Nick Matthew uh, is, is my favorite. Uh, why Sachin is because, I mean, the love he has created uh, for himself. Uh, uh, and what he's done for India, it's, it's just incredible. He's a great inspiration. I mean, the, he's so disciplined, he's so professional uh, with his game. So he's definitely one to look at. Uh, Nick Matthew, it's because he's a very dominating personality, in my opinion. Uh, the way he plays, the way he, um, uh, the way he carries himself on and off court, I, I really admire him a lot. What is the fitness regime that you use majorly? Uh, I'm I'm more of a guy who who like who likes to who likes pain. So there are some athletes on tour who who don't train. Who, who everyone doesn't have the same type of uh, training regime. So I do a lot of CrossFit, and uh, most of my training is based on that. But all the movements, whatever I do, are squash pertaining. So I don't do a lot of heavy lifting or anything like that, but I do a lot of uh, endurance stuff, uh, power stuff, which involves uh, testing of your lactic threshold all the time. So your heart rate is going to 180, 190 every time you're training. And in between, you obviously have to have some aerobic sessions as well, so, so that you recover and perform better in the other days as well. Brilliant. And everyone has that. Everyone has that one cheat meal that they have sometimes. What's yours? I don't. I, I honestly don't know when I was the last time I had a cheat meal. Uh, I think. I think every summer break I might do like a few. But uh, yeah, I mean, I just try and eat healthy. Uh, no processed sugar. Okay. That's that's my agenda. But what's your cheat meal? Is still the question. Uh, I love cheesecake. You love cheesecake. I can have one whole loaf of cheesecake in one sitting. And how has your experience been at the entire tournament? How do you think have been the facilities, the entire tournament? How is it yeah. shaping up for you? I really like the setup over here. Uh, the organizers have done a good job. Uh, they've set up a glass court for a, for a national tournament, which is very rare. And uh, yeah, and I think being it in a university, I think uh, it's going to motivate a lot of uh, uh, students, girls and boys, to take up the sport, perhaps. And uh, yeah, hopefully, I mean, we can reach this. This, this is the only way we can reach through the masses, also. And uh, eventually, we can, that's the way to get in the Olympics. And what would you say about the infrastructure here at uh, Shivnath University? I think a uh, lot of students over here are quite lucky to get such sort of a facility. Uh, they have tennis courts, volleyball court. I mean, every, every, you name any sport, they have it. And uh, it's a great way to introduce sports in, in academics as well. And yeah, this, this, we need to develop more universities like, like Shivna, Shivnadar. And uh, what do you believe set you apart from all your peers when it comes to your, this particular sport? I like to dominate the middle of the court a lot. And uh, I think me, Saurav and uh, Harry, and I think Kush Kumar, who's number four, we are very. All of us are very different, so we have a very different game, and so it's good to, for the viewers, it's good to see uh, because we are all different styles. So we always have to sort of uh, improvise and get uh, try and win points differently every time. But I like to play in the middle of the court most of the times, and. I like to play the ball when it's in the air, like take a full toss. What advice do you want to give it to the young players who are getting to squash? I think uh, just keep working hard, uh, stay motivated. Uh, don't don't keep yourself busy too much in, in school life and, and other activities. Uh, give yourself more time. Uh, right now I see like kids in Mumbai who, who are like so occupied and they barely have time for themselves. So I feel like you should give more time to yourself uh, so that you can you know, analyze and relax and think about what you really, really want to do, what you actually like, 
or you're just going through the grind. So I feel that's very important for them. Besides training, what is your, how do you kill your time? I like doing a lot of research on uh, like overtraining and uh, nutrition and you know peak performance basically which is pertaining to an athlete. I like doing research on that uh, so I read a lot of books and uh, I, I like playing the guitar wow. so it's fun and I'm actually learning new language now, Dutch. I live in The Hague in Holland yeah. Yeah. so I'm trying to l uh, learn Dutch. So now we'll start with the rapid fire. Yeah. Virat Kohli or Sachin Tendulkar? Currently Virat Kohli. Saina Mirza or Saina Nehwal? Uh, Saina Nehwal. 100 million dollars or World Squash Championship? World Squash Championships. All glass court or a normal court? All glass court. Personal life over squash practice or squash practice over personal life? Squash practice over personal life. Chuck de India or Dangal? I would say Chuck de India. Your biggest competitor in the championship? Uh, I think Harindapal Sandhu and Saurav Goshal. Uh, describe the tournament in three words. Organized, fun, very friendly.